Hi guys, welcome back to this new video. Today we'll talk about how to remove an OSD from your cluster, your self-storage cluster, and also how to uh, erase all data from a hard drive that we have on your specific node. So this is what we intend to do. So here we have your self-storage cluster, and uh, let's go from the dashboard view, the OSD that we have right now, and uh, let's show you the crash map also. Okay, so we have this uh, crash map view at this moment. Yeah, so in this uh, server C, for instance, we have those OSDs and the server H, we have also those OSD. Okay, so let's say that, for instance, we intend to, I mean, uh, remove two OSDs, the OSD 4 and 7 from this particular node. For instance, just of over training purpose. Never do it in production. Okay. Never and ever do it in production, please. Okay. So let's do that. I will go to the CLI interface at the moment. Uh, so, self. Okay. So, for there. I'm in the cluster self OSD. So let's hit the command self OSD3 to show uh, also the hierarchy of your cluster view from the uh, self storage cluster. Okay, so right now we have uh, the crash map hierarchy. We have those distribution of those OSDs. Okay, and uh, we intend, for instance, uh, what I might say before. We intend to remove our OSD 4 and 7. Okay. 4. Where are there? 4 and 7, for instance. Okay. So we intend to remove them from the cluster. So, how shall we uh, uh, proceed? Before, let me show sure that this OSD is effectively on this host. Okay. Because in our cluster, we have uh, those. Host, okay, so ls, oh, host, ls, okay, so here is the different hosts that we have in within our cluster, and uh, we intend to be sure that this uh, OSD4 is effectively in this uh, uh, node because uh, into a crash map we can have many uh, uh, hierarchy. Okay, you can have many hierarchy in your cluster, so to be sure that this OSD is in this. Not effectively, let's say, uh, self um, OSD find, for instance, find just to be sure about the location of this OSD regarding the yeah, so we can see that uh, this OSD is uh, on this host effectively, so we are now uh, more comfortable. So now let's try to see. Uh, uh, this OSD value uh, belongs to which drive on the on this particular node? We have to be sure about, about the fact that uh, the drive uh, which uh, this OSD, OSD belong, belongs to. Okay, so let's try to discover this one. In this uh, LSI, we suppose that uh, one OSD corresponds to one drive. Okay, so this means that uh, the rock DB and uh, the journal and also the data has been for a OSD has been collocated into only one drive okay so let's move on so from the web interface okay i can i can discover uh, which osd belongs to which uh, physical drive so let's see that so here from this view okay from the web interface i can uh, check i can uh, have uh, this information for instance the osd 9 belongs to this uh, driver vda okay so we have this info. Let's see, to have a complete view. Okay, let's go on the server from the, uh, to the other servers. We just increase it again. Yeah. Um, OSD seven. Yeah, server E, and uh, it it linked to this particular drive. Okay, so if I go back, uh, let's go back on the on this on this specific node. Uh, server E, it's 
uh, yeah okay so if i hit the command lsb lk okay let's block device i can see that oh, i have those block device effective user and uh, we have uh, osd uh, which has been uh, deployed on those uh, this particular drive so now we are much more comfortable to remove uh, this uh, osd because we know exactly uh, uh to which driver it belongs to okay let's go back to the cluster so we remove them from the cli So first step, the first step to uh, re remove an OSD from your cluster is to stop it and to make, mark it out, okay? So we have to stop. We have first to stop over OSD 7, okay? And uh, our next step is to mark it as out. At this moment, where you mark it as out, the cluster restart of the rebalancing re re of the data, okay? Because of the pages which are which was uh, supposed to be deployed on this uh, OSD will be uh, will be recreated on another OSD in your cluster okay so we can monitor the activities of your cluster to see uh if for very any data rebalancing which is ongoing going on okay so we have to wait uh you have to wait for the cluster to finish off the rebalancing process before proceed okay in our case it is uh, I can, this lab environment is this environment is a cluster for training purpose so we don't have much more uh, uh, data so we can you can view this uh, this rebalancing your uh, action in your in this environment but in, if it is in production purpose or any environment where we have our data into your uh, osds we have to wait uh, your cluster finish the rebalancing uh, uh, works okay so because all data all pages which will be uh, supposed to be lost by doing this action have to be recreated to uh, on others osd in your cluster okay so you have to wait uh, your cluster coming back to a healthy or uh, uh, healthy state to proceed okay so for my case i will move on because i know that so let's with the three again here here is how it looks like the process the demon has been uh, stopped and also i have marked this where they have out Okay, so the next step to do is uh, to say to the crash map, okay, that uh, this OSD value is not uh, anymore a part of this uh, of this crash map. Okay, this is what we have to do. Mm. Okay. Now we're supposed to not be able to see it. Yeah. Next, uh, I have to remove the demon from the node. Okay. Because I have stopped it, I have removed it from the crash map. Now I have to remove remove the demon from this from this particular uh, node. Because let me show you. Let me show you another thing. Okay, so, so um, PS. Okay, to list uh, all demon on this particular particular uh, post. post. Okay, as you can see, the demon is still there. Okay, the demon uh, OSD seven is still on the node, so we have now to remove it completely. Okay, to be sure that uh, this uh, post uh, OSD has been completely removed from my cluster. Okay. So let's proceed to that. So we, to do it is very simple. Self OS is just uh, the command self OSD RM just simply and uh, see what will be. Yeah, just wait a little bit. But if you don't have uh, too much workload, it will be very fast. 
So now, uh, just to wait. Yeah, just to wait. But meanwhile, let's see the health of this cluster. Uh, yes. Uh, okay, here, yeah. Okay, so as I see, there is no any more OSD7, which is perfect. Now, the even if I have done that, I can still see the what I do for this demo. Okay, safe. Uh, let's list let's list of the, the services. I can do it. Uh, okay, here I've done it uh, through. I we, I can do it uh, through the uh, orchestrator also, because I mean, uh, yeah. Okay, so it stops. Okay, stop it. Just have to wait a little bit. So we have to be uh, a little bit patient on it. And yeah. If I want to do it uh, much more properly also, I can uh, remove this demon okay, through the orchestrator. As you can see, because I'm able to print those demons because uh, uh, I'm doing through the orchestrator. Okay? So, from a web, int web interface view, as you can see, we don't have any more the OSD7, which is great. Uh, let's go on the node. Let's go on the node to see if we still have a processor from the system D. Yeah, so from the system D, the OS is, uh, 7 is gone. Okay, we don't have any more the uh, OS D or OS 7, sorry, from on this particular node. Okay. Okay, so let's go back with. So let's check it again. Okay, so let's force the demon re remo removing, okay? Because I don't want, uh, I don't have much time, but meanwhile, let's see the, the status of the health of the cluster. The health is uh, okay. 
as you can see that uh, it's, we have some kind of okay so let's remove it uh, again completely remove it with your request return uh, demon rm and uh, yeah let's kill it force kill it Great, so let's see. Um, yeah, okay. So great, so this is it. So we have done it. So now it's not completed. Okay, if you remember, and uh, you remember that over, we still have data, okay, on this particular uh, block device if you remember vda is still occupied by the data if you would like to erase all data data we can do it okay so this is what we have to do right now we erase all data on this block particular block device okay so let's show you mm. and uh, what how can we uh Let's go back. I will uh, see. I will go back on the cluster. Yeah. Okay. And uh, from the cluster, it's possible for us also to erase to erase all data from from a specific driver which is on in specific host. Okay. So let let me go back here. As you can see, the server. Uh, let me server e. Voilà, yeah. So vd the server e vda. Okay. Normally the OS is gone, but uh, you know that all the data is still there. Okay. So we can wipe. We can suppress all data from this uh, drive, particular drive. So let's do that. Oh, and uh, to complete that, uh, let me show you the command itself or the work device uh, zip. Uh, let's do that. Uh, okay. So I would like to VDA. Mm -hmm. Let's try to do it softly. Oops. I would like to not do it for it. Okay, great. So now with data are supposed to be wiped, wiped or erased. Okay. So let's uh, confirm this one. Great. As you can see, the VDA uh, drive has been completely erased. Okay. So this is how we can uh, remove an OSD from your cluster and also how to uh, erase all data from a particular driver uh, which is in your cluster. So I hope I see that I will do it for two drive, but uh, I, I think that it is, uh, it is enough for you. Okay. And uh, you can so follow the same procedure uh, to do it uh, from your environment. Okay. If you face any uh, issues, you can let us know. And uh, yeah. So thank you very much again. And uh, do not forget to like share or comment this uh, video it's help us help us out also to to produce much more content uh, in this uh, uh, self field we know that uh, we know that uh, manage or troubleshoot uh, self story cluster is very can be very painful very tricky so by your uh, help us also you can uh, encourage us to do more more content in this field uh, to help you, or, or you also to manage uh, your environments so thank you very much uh, and i'll uh, talk to you later and uh, Take care.